Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Tumblr tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be using some new vinyl from Flint Sisters Supply Shop and we're going to make a really simple, elegant, gemmy Tumblr design. I had a lot of fun making this cup and I really hope you all enjoy the tutorial. As always, I'll have a full supply list along with discount codes down below in the description box. I'll also have links to join my Facebook group, my exclusive mentorship group, a link to find my website and my Instagram if you're interested in following along with me anywhere else. Okay, I think that's it. I really hope you all enjoy the tutorial. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be using a 24 ounce plump tumbler from the Tipsy Magnolia for this design and we're going to use this beautiful sheet of pattern vinyl. This is from the Uncut Gems vinyl pack from Flint Sisters Supply Shop. The name of the pattern I'm using is Fantasy Quartz. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to use it. What we're going to do first though is remove this bottom from our tumbler so that we can do a really pretty little glitter booty on here. So I'm just going to take a small flathead screwdriver and a hammer and drive that screwdriver into the little line or lip, you know, where the lid cap is on. Wedge that under there and then the lid will just, or the bottom, I guess it's not a lid, it'll just pop right off. So we will take care of that later. Now we can apply our vinyl wrap. So I took my tumbler and laid it on the vinyl and made a mark at the bottom so I knew how much excess vinyl I needed to cut off. We are going to use our cup edging tool after the vinyl has been applied to cut off even more. I just wanted to save as much of this vinyl as I possibly could because it's so pretty. So once I had that cut down, I wrapped my vinyl around my tumbler. I'm going to secure one edge of the vinyl down to my cup with a piece of painter's tape and then make sure everything's straight. Because of the way this pattern is set up, this isn't a seamless vinyl or anything like that and the pattern is not going to line up no matter how you lay it down so with a pattern like this you really don't have to worry about getting it super straight especially because we're not going to have any like straight lines showing so just wrap that vinyl on there the best way you can don't worry too much about getting it perfectly straight because it's not going to matter in the end so once I had that on, I cut away a little piece of the backing the same way I always do with my vinyl wraps, applied that to the tumbler first, and now I'm taking my vinyl squeegee here and just pushing the vinyl onto the cup as I rotate it in my cup cradle. And this is literally the easiest way to apply vinyl ever. It's so fast and quick and no bubbles or wrinkling or anything, super easy. Once I had the vinyl wrapped around to the other edge and we had that seam going, I just cut a nice little wavy line to camouflage the seam just a little bit um, and cut off all of that excess. Then at the top, I'm just going to roughly cut off all of this excess up here. Again, we're going to use our cup edging tool in just a second to really clean up those lines. So don't worry about cutting all of this excess perfectly. You just want that to be kind of straight so you cut a straight line with the edging tool. I'm going to run my cup on the top and the bottom against this edging tool so that we get nice even cut lines on both ends of our tumbler. Once we've cut the excess vinyl off of both ends of our tumbler, this is what it looks like. Now I wanted to take this to the next level somehow without putting glitter over the vinyl because I felt like that would kind of take away from the really like, this is just such a vibrant, beautiful pattern or print and I didn't want to take away with it with glitter. So I decided to use one of these laminate sheets from TechRap Craft. I picked a kind of like glass holographic sparkly one and I'm just going to wrap that all the way around my tumbler right over my vinyl. I am going to line up my seam so that they all end up in the same place. But basically you're just going to treat this like a normal vinyl wrap. So I peeled back a little bit of the backing attach that to my tumbler, and now I'm using my same vinyl squeegee to just push that over the vinyl onto my cup. And you can see it just gives the whole thing this beautiful holographic, sparkly, gem-like finish. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I can't wait to do this with more vinyl. Okay. 
I'm going to use my craft knife to follow the line of our vinyl to cut off this excess laminate from the top and the bottom. Once I've done that, I'm going to take my painter's tape and tape off those edges so that we can paint and glitter the top and bottom of our cup. To base paint here, I'm going to use my white acrylic paint. This is the Delta Creative Ceram Coat brand. You can get this on Amazon or at Joann's. It's my favorite acrylic paint ever. If you watch my channel, you know this is my ride or die. So I'm going to do one thin coat, let that dry for about 20 minutes, and then I'll go back in and do a second coat just to make sure we've got really nice full coverage. Once that second coat is dry, I'm going to go in with my UV resin to apply my glitter. You can use regular epoxy, Mod Podge, glitter glue, doesn't matter. Whatever adhesive you like the best, just use that. I'm just applying a really, really thin layer of the UV resin to the top and bottom of my tumbler. And for the glitter, I'm gonna use Supernova, which is an extra fine, really pretty white glitter from Olive's Glitter Outlet. I tried to find a color that would really complement all of the beautiful gems and the vibe of our vinyl and not take away from it. Um, and I think that this glitter was perfect. I think it goes with it really, really nicely. I was really happy with the combination. Once I had those two sections glittered, I removed my tape and then I let my UV resin cure in front of my UV lamp for about 20 minutes. Once that was cured, I went in with my favorite sealer. This is a 50-50 mix of water and the Crystallac glitter glue. And you can see I'm just applying it with a brush there just to the glittered sections. I didn't put any glitter glue over the vinyl. Once the glitter glue was dry, I waited about two hours. I am going to do our little glitter booty here. Now I am a glitter booty novice. I am not very good at them yet, but I'm having so much fun playing around with them and doing them and just having a good time. So for this glitter booty, we're going to do a few colors that are in our pattern because I didn't want to take away from the vinyl with our glitter that's like showing next to the vinyl. I thought it would be really fun to do a colorful glitter booty as like a little fun surprise on the bottom, I guess. So I took 2009 and Jacksonville, both from Peachy Olive Glitters, mixed those each in their own medicine cup with some UV resin. I didn't measure how much UV resin I used, um, but I'm going to do 2009 on the outer ring of the bottom, and then I'll put Jacksonville in that big middle section. I cured my UV resin under my lamp for about five minutes, and then I added a coat of epoxy to my tumbler, let that coat cure for about four to six hours, and then I added another coat of epoxy on top. I'm using my Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy for both of those coats. And once those coats were cured, I was ready to go in and do all of my sanding on my cup and then apply my decal. Because we just have vinyl really on the tumbler, there wasn't too much sanding to do. I really just focused on that top rim. I wanted to expose that thin line of stainless steel up at the top so we can have our final epoxy seal up there. But other than that, there really wasn't a lot of sanding to do. Before we add our main decal, we are gonna add some striping to the glitter top and bottom areas, like where the vinyl and the glitter meet. To do this, I am using my champagne gold matte metallic vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft, and I cut these stripes out at 0 0.08 inches in width. Now this SVG that I'm using for the decal I found on Etsy and I thought it was perfect to go with this really pretty Julie gem vibe we have going. It is a Proverbs verse and it's just the little piece that says far more precious than jewels. And it is a kind of delicate cut. So I cut it out of my plain black Oracle 651 vinyl and you can see that I have not weeded it yet. I just added my transfer tape to that entire big piece and I'm going to place it on my tumbler and then weed it once the decal is on. I did put it right over the seams of our vinyl and our laminate wrap just to kind of camouflage them a little bit more. And now that it's applied I can go through with my pin pin and weed out all of these middle sections. 
I like to do this a lot when my lines are super thin or delicate or we've got like really fine script like we do here. Um, I did lose a few pieces still even with doing it this way, but I feel like it's a whole lot easier than trying to weed this on the backing and then transferring it. I just always have better luck kind of reverse weeding after the decal's already been applied to the tumbler. I am so happy with how that decal looks. I love it so much. So the last little final touch is to put my logo on the bottom of my tumbler here. Instead of using an acrylic logo tag for this one, I decided to just cut my logo out of some clear sticker paper and stick it on the bottom. And then I'm gonna add my final two coats of epoxy. For my final two coats, I'm using the Flynn Sisters Artist Cure Formula, and each of those coats was about 15 to 20 milliliters. After that, we are all finished. So here is the final design. Super simple and easy, but I think gives a really big impact. This vinyl is so beautiful and with the laminate over it, I feel like it just takes it to the next level. I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you recreate this design, please be sure to tag me in your photos at Made by Manny and Mal so I can show you some love. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Made by Manny and Mal. You can join my mentorship group at the website on your screen. I'd love to have you in the Elite Fam. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And while you're here, here's another video for you to check out. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to my channel members and my Elite Fam members. You guys make this channel possible. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.